All right, so today, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I'm doing or how I do my Cryptek. Now, this stencil, guys, is not a complete stencil. I've already used the stencil once. I got my stencils from Tactical Penguin. As you guys can see, I did the Glock right back here. Uh, so these are just kind of what I had left, and you can usually get two uses out of each stencil. And I'm going to show you how today, guys, on the shotgun. Now, guys, I've already gone through and I've prepped this shotgun. I have sandblasted it. I have sprayed the base coat, which is this graphite black on it. So all I have to do is put the stencils on, and that's kind of what this video is going to show you guys, is putting the stencils on, and then I'm going to go ahead and Cerakote it, bake it, and show you guys how it turns out. So first off, what you guys are going to need is you guys are going to need to roll like some translucent tape, some transfer tape. Um, I got this off of Amazon. I think I paid seven, eight bucks for it. It was one of the cheaper ones. Uh, usually they retail right around 20 bucks. So if you want to spend a little bit more, you can. If you don't, that's kind of one way to go about looking at it. I ran down to a local uh, craft store here and it was it was $25 for the same amount, same roll, same amount. And I've never used this stuff, so I don't know how it's going to turn out. Let's go ahead and give it a try. So what you're going to do is just pull out enough to be able to transfer it. I don't need to use a whole lot as my biggest one is this one right here. So like I said, I don't need a whole lot. I just need something that is going to be able to transfer that off of there. Now one cool thing I'm going to show you guys is almost with any one of these Cryptek designs, you guys can get two uses out of. You guys can use the weed and then just pick the diamond out of the middle, especially these ones from Tactical Penguin, because these are where I get all my stencils from. Check out Tactical Penguin, tacticalpenguin.com. They got Cerakote, they got uh, stencils. Sean and his crew over there is really great to deal with. And all I did is, as I'm cutting the weed, I'm just cutting between each one of the diamonds. And that's how I got these little gra That's how I got these little sharp edges here. Same thing with this. As you guys can see, I took the weed out of this one. And that's how I built. That's how I Cerakoted the Glock. So, go ahead. We've got some transfer tape here. We want to just cut it to the size we want. So what I'm going to do guys, I'm just going to randomly put these in different spots and I'm going to kind of blend them together with my final coat of Cerakote. Okay, so we're going to start off with this piece of transfer tape. We'll put on here. As you can see, it should be able to hold as you can see, it should be able to hold my Cryptek, and then it should be able to transfer it right onto there. Nice thing about this one is it's got the grid on it, so I can kind of see what it looks like. So that's what it's going to look like. Flip it over, peel the backing off, and the best thing I can tell you guys is when you go to peel this backing off, peel it at a very sharp angle back. Don't peel up like this. Peel it back that way, as hard as you can, basically 90 it. And just like that, I've got my Cryptek. Lay it on my gun. We're gonna do the kind of the same thing, guys. You're gonna peel your transfer tape, and when you peel it back, you're gonna peel it really tight back against this. So then what I do is like spots like this, I'll take the back end of my X-Acto knife and just kind of either cut it along the edge or tuck it back in there or just a small screwdriver. That's part one part of my Cryptek there. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I got, how I use my my weed.
and just peel it. Work it back and forth. So just like that guys, I've got my weed. And let's say I want to put it right here. Start at the bottom and work across back and forth to get that to lay down where you want it. Don't just throw it down and fight it. So I hope I showed you guys a new little trick you guys can use. This Your weed on your stencils is just as valuable as the actual stencil itself. All right, so here's a good example of how you're gonna get two uses out of one. Now what I'm gonna do is since I have my stencil on here, I'm gonna take whatever diamond I wanna fill in, like over here, and put in here wherever I want to have my diamond in my edge. And it's really as simple as this, guys. All you're doing is you're just matching it up from where you take it, put it to there. So, for instance, if I wanna take this one here, it's this one right here. I'm gonna take the inside diamond and place it right there. So this technique guys I'm showing you this one here we just put right here we're gonna take and that was the weed okay so we're gonna take that that was the weed put the diamonds in there we're gonna take the actual stencil part we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna put it on this side now okay kind of probably something like like that we're gonna put it on the barrel we can do whatever we want with it but go ahead and we'll peel this off and we'll give you a quick example all right, so here is the actual stencil to that side. This is the stencil. That was the weed with the pieces taken out. So now, like I said, all we're going to do is we're going to transfer it onto the gun. Now, some of these, like these ones here on the edge, I'm just gonna fold them over. Just like that, guys, we've put, we've used our stencil, we've used the weed. Like I said, that, so now I've shown you guys we can get two uses out of each one of these. All right, guys, so just like that, we have got our stencils completely set up. As you guys can see, I didn't get any stencils down underneath here. Reason being is because the pump action is gonna set right there. You know, and didn't go a whole lot up here because the barrel's gonna set up on top of it. So guys, as you guys can see, I got two guns Cerakoted from the stencils from Tactical Penguin. Like I said guys, check out tacticalpenguin.com. Let Give Sean and his crew a, a chance. These guys make some really good stencils. They have Cerakote at a great price. Um, definitely let them know Delta D80 sent you too. We're going to go ahead, we're going to get these things sprayed, get them in the oven, and I'll show you guys the final product. Alright guys, so we got the Cerakote all done. You guys kind of saw how I did the stencils, put them on there. And now I'm going to show you what it looks like between the weed and the stencil itself. So go ahead and I'll take this off and I'll show you guys what this looks like. So that's what the stencil looks like with the weed used. Okay, now I'll go ahead and we'll take the actual stencil off itself and show you guys what that looks like.
And then there is the actual stencil, guys. So you guys can see the difference between the weed and the stencil. Gives me kind of the black lines with the diamonds there. And then the stencil will actually give me kind of the gray lines with the black diamond inside. So as I'm showing you guys, you guys can get two uses out of one of those stencil packs. It's definitely very cool, very neat. We'll go ahead, we'll put some dusting on this, and we will get this gun put back together and show you the final product. All right guys, so this is how that shotgun turned out. As I said earlier guys, you guys can get two guns out of those stencils. Uh, granted, I did a lot on that on that Glock. I just used what I had left on this on the shotgun. I didn't have enough really to do the grip or the stock. But hey, you know what? I didn't really want to do it anyways. These are plastic. So, like I said guys, check out tacticalpenguin.com for your stencil needs. Sean and the crew over there are pretty good to get along with. This is what it looks like, guys. Complete. All done. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you guys would like to know more of what I'm doing, keep in contact with me on social media. You guys can do that on Facebook, Instagram. I also have a full30.com channel. We also have a gunstreamer.com channel. We also have a Patreon channel. Nothing's really uploaded over there yet. You guys can check me out on PayPal if you'd like to help out the channel. And definitely, guys, get all your stencils and your Cerakote from Tactical Penguin. These guys are great, easy to deal with. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll shoot the breeze with you again next time, guys.